Hi, welcome to Play Along. Uh, today we're going to go over a game. Uh, we're going to look at ideas to win and draw. You'll be white, you can play along and watch. Okay. Keep in mind in the opening moves how the squares, the centers, uh, how they fight for the center. But, uh, 14, 15, 18, and 19. The first, the first move red makes is 9 to 14. You go 22 to 18. 5 to 9. 24 to 19. Now red's going to cut in his fight for the center. He's going to exchange. He goes 11 to 15. You jump to square 11. Red jumps from 8 to 24. And you jump back 28 to 19. Here red goes 4 to 8. 26 to 22. 8 to 11. 27 to 24, 11 to 15, and now you're going to exchange uh, for the center. You're going to go 22 to 18, red jumps to 22, and you jump 25 to 18. Now, red goes 1 to 5. Now this formation right here is called the echelon, and it's a semi-active formation. Here white goes 31 to 26. And you go 9 to 13, allowing white to, I mean, red goes 9 to 13. You jump 18 to 9, and red jumps 5 to 14. Now, 24 to 20 by white. And red's going to exchange here. He's going to go 14 to 17. You jump to 14, and he jumps. 10 to 17. 29 to 25, you play, and red goes 7 to 11. Here you go 32 to 27. You're getting ready for the end game and uh, you're getting ready for combinations. So here, red goes 6 to 10, and now you're going to exchange. You go 19 to 15. Red jumps to 19, and you jump to square 7. Now, red has a choice between uh, jumping either way, and in one game, red plays 3 to 10. And now it's now the position is white to move and win. Now, when I, when I look at this type of position, if I was playing white, uh, the way I look at it briefly, I just want to... It's the end game, five against five. I want to check to see if I have the opposition. The way I count, look at these squares here. I count from this going down from square 32. I count here. I've got to count the total checkers. Zero there, zero there. And on this square on 30, it's one. And then here. So it's a total of two checkers there, which is an even number. And so I know I don't have the opposition. I know that, uh, that red has the opposition. So uh, when it's when it's a chance to change the opposition, I would I would uh, uh, if appropriate I would make an exchange and I would get the opposition. Here you go twenty seven to twenty four. Now this is to uh, plot the the double corner from red getting in partly, and red plays in the game ten to fifteen. Now. I just checked and I know that I didn't have the opposition. I need to exchange for the opposition. Red should have went to 21. but So now I know if I exchange, I'll get the opposition here. So 26 to 22, you would get the opposition. Red jumps and you jump. Now red cannot go here because he'd self-destruct. You'd go here, squeeze. Then when he come in here to 22, you would just go into 18 and win a checker and the game. So, red's only two choices here. The game he plays uh, 2 to 7. Now you go 25 to 22. You cannot go here because then you would squeeze and win a checker. So he goes 7 to 10. And this is similar to, this is the pin must win. You ever heard that in, in chess they use that? Well, it happens in checkers too. Uh, the wrong move, you want to go here to square 18 because then... Red would just come in here, and it would be an even exchange, and it would be a draw. So you need to pin. 
you go 23 to 18, you pin these checkers, and Red's going to lose the checker and the game. So uh, here Red resigns. So now let's take a look at this again. But now let's take a look at it a bit from Red's side of it. I'm going to try to see it, see how this works out. Okay. We're going to fight, Red's going to fight for a draw. So we know this move loses. So Red plays 2 to 11. And White 27 to 24. Red plays 17 to 21. So because we know 11 to 15 is so good. So he plays 17 to 21. Now 24 to 19. And you have a star move here as playing as red. Do you see the star move? That's right, 13 to 17. We're just going to show you another uh, a variation to this. If white would go 26 to 23, you as red would go 3 to 8. Then white would have to go 25 to 22. Red would jump. And then you would go here. Remember, he has a check on 8. When he jumps, white would jump 2 for a draw. So white plays 25 to 22. Here in this position, he would play 3 to 7. He jumps to 13. Move this over here. Now he goes 7 to 10. Say, for example, here, where he goes 11 to 15, he's going to win his uh, checker back, and it's going to be a draw from here, just to play out some moves. Yeah. And as you can see, you're going to get, uh, he goes in for king, say. Uh, one move you can do is like here. Because he, if he goes in here, you would just take, you would come in here and take that check out. But as you can see, it's a draw from here. Now this game is from Hall's Instructive Positions. Learn to win, but also learn to fight for the draw. Thank you for watching this video.